Hey guys, I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to create a cover photo for your Facebook online shop with Canva. I love Canva. It is a great option for a lot of really cute, fun graphics um, if you wanna design your own. And you also can use PicMonkey, that's another one, but I truly feel like Canva is a little bit more user-friendly. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen share. And I am going to go to Canva dot com so just c a n v a dot com and you will have to create an account if you it, you can get a free one the free one is just fine so you do not have to pay for it i have paid for it just because i used it a lot in my former business and so um it was worth it for me but look here like so you can create like if, if you you want to create different types of posts for your groups or you know that have like your specific brand on it you can play around with all of these different designs here but what i want you guys to do is go over to more and we are going to find specifically where it says facebook cover that's what we want so you can see here there's facebook posts facebook app um all of that, there's LinkedIn, there's Twitter, but we are gonna scroll down. I'm pretty sure it's still down here. Okay, so you're going to do Facebook cover. So it's 828 pixel by 315. So that's a difference between the Facebook event cover, which we'll talk about events later, because I think events are things that we can use. I had a decent success on that um, as well, but for right now, we wanna do Facebook cover. So you're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna get all kinds of fun little options. So you could, if you, like I said, if you already have kind of your own brand, um, then you really don't need um, to, to use one of these, but there's a ton of free um, different templates over here if you like some of the colors that they have. Um, the thing is like, if it's, if it's free, um, you kinda, of, I mean, you can switch it around a little bit, but um, you know, maybe you want to do that. And then you want to take this out and put, um, I mean, I don't really know if this is perfect, like necessarily, I don't know if this is fits your brand or not, but let's just pretend it does. Um, and then you could put, um, you know, my, my page is living on a prayer and lipstick. So I'll just use that to make it easy. Living on a prayer and lip stick. All right. So you can get super creative. Um, you certainly don't have to use the template that's there, um, but those are fun. Those are easy. If you, I'm sure they probably have something with makeup too, but it's probably obviously not going to be our product. So that might not work. But anyways, my point is you can use some of these templates over here. The cool thing about these templates too is like, let's say you don't like it. Okay. I changed my mind. I don't really want to use this. Then you just go ahead and trash it over here in the upper right hand corner in the trash can and you delete the image. Um, you can also add your other images. There's tons of stuff you can do. Um, you can scroll down really far, um, and you can find where you can add photos. So if you want to have your face on there or some other photo that you found um, or that you've taken yourself. So I'm telling you, there's just a ton of stuff you can do. So let's just say you don't want any of that stuff on there and you want to just create completely on your own. Um, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just play with these over here on the left-hand side. So you could go ahead and make the entire background black. Um, you could do that. And then, um, I guess that little piece was there from the other one, which I kinda of like that look. But then you could play with the text. And you could go over here and use some of the preset ones. Um, I love this one. The other thing is you cannot use lip sense or sentence in any of your um, names of your stores. So, <coughs> excuse me, so don't do that. Um, so if you wanna say lipstick or makeup, that's totally fine, but don't make your actual name of your store, of your online store um, with, uh, with sentence or lipstick. So let's just say makeup with, Mandy. Well, it's not really spaced evenly, but you get my point, right? Okay. So you can be really creative with that. You can add different elements. You can add um, different shapes. Um, so I just encourage you to play around with this and have fun. 
Um, you know, don't, and I just think sometimes less is more with these types of things. Um, but you can change the color up here in this little corner here. You could say, oh, maybe I want that to be pink. Okay, great. There you go. Um, so it's really easy to navigate. My point is you want to use the Facebook cover the dimensions because they're actually, it's actually going to fit nicely into your online shop and really try to keep it looking professional. Um, you really do want when people find this group or when, when you put the link out there for people to join your group, that they're going to actually be intrigued to come and check it out because if it looks kind of tacky, um, they're probably not going to be interested. So um, I think a lot of the times, like I said, less is more and um, just keep it professional looking this is your online presence like if you walk by a store and it has a poor storefront you usually don't go in right if it looks dirty or it looks messy or a restaurant is like dirty same with online shopping if you have like one second to catch somebody's attention and if your cover photo isn't um, isn't decent enough then people are not going to even take you seriously so that is how you create a cover photo for your Facebook online store. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I'm going to be doing another video for you here shortly. And um, I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.